Now, a hundred years ago, London's night sky would have been lit up by stars. You even used to be able to see the Milky Way without a telescope. But with worsening light pollution, that's now increasingly hard to do. So where's the best place to go star spotting here in the capital? Marek Kokula, the Royal Observatory's astronomer, has the answer. For centuries, astronomers have tried to learn more about the world we live in by studying the stars. Back then, Greenwich, where I am now, would have been a tiny village outside London. The night sky would have been pitch black and it was the perfect place to build an observatory. But now it's surrounded by the city and the stars have to compete with millions of artificial lights. Today, astronomers build their telescopes on remote mountains or even up in space to avoid the light pollution from our towns and cities. But it's not all doom and gloom. Even here in light polluted London, there are still loads of really exciting things to see in the night sky. This telescope at the Royal Observatory Greenwich was built over a hundred years ago. And despite the city lights, it's still able to show us everything from craters on the moon to the rings of Saturn. Even the 24 hour glow of our urban metropolis hasn't stopped some people from finding places within the city limits where they can get a clear view of the night sky. The Baker Street Irregulars are a group of astronomers who meet here in Regent's Park. What can you actually see from here? Well, more than you might think. Uh, we can see a very long way. We've managed to see everything in the solar system. We've managed to see out into deep space. And with the right combination of equipment and experience, there really is a lot within reach in light polluted skies. On a clear night from this spot, using their telescopes, the group have spotted every planet in the solar system and seen things as far away as the Whirlpool Galaxy, proving that even the city's bright lights don't burn as bright as the ones up there. The wonder of the night sky is part of our natural heritage and it should be available for everyone to enjoy. And even in a big, light polluted city like London, there are still pockets of relative darkness. The Waterworks Nature Reserve in the Lee Valley is one of them. It's just been designated as a dark sky discovery site by astronomers, meaning it's the perfect place for a spot of stargazing. Jupiter's very bright tonight as well, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. You can see the full moon through here. On a clear night, you can get a good view of, uh, of the planets, the stars. In modern cities, people don't get to see the night sky. They're not as familiar with it as they might be in the countryside, perhaps. And uh, once you bring them to a dark uh, site like this, and show them the night sky and allow them to look through a telescope or binoculars and uh, see some planets. People are of course excited by it because astronomy is, is an awe-inspiring uh, activity. So there you have it. You really can discover more about the universe from wherever you are. All you need to do is look up. <laughs>